previously on Phillips Fan Band. All right, are you boys ready to go? Yep. All warmed up? Make sure you guys go on date nights with your spouse. With so we are sitting here at Outback Steakhouse getting ready to eat some grub. We are here with... Hey guys, welcome back to another Kids in the Kitchen. Back with Chef Elijah. And so, we are going to be making pumpkin bottle cream cheese frosting. Oh! And it's just going to taste so good. I got my measurements. I got my exact cup. I got my sugar. I think I'm ready. Okay guys, it's full time, and this is our first time making a pumpkin dessert recipe. So comment down below what's your favorite like like pumpkin dessert. Kind of like a pumpkin pie, pumpkin cake, pumpkin cupcake. And if you will try to make this, comment down below. What do you guys think? Should I have a chef hat or what? I'm like a chef now. I've already made my cake. Oh, you're like a baker. So oh, yeah. bakers always have chef hats, right? I need a hat, guys. Like, comment down below if I need a hat. Like, because I want one. I think it'll look pretty good on it. Like, okay, guys, now let's get into the cooking. Or should I say, the bacon? So, right now, we are going to put in two cups of flour. You're going to top that off? Yep. Mom just showed you how to do it, right? Yeah. If I was listening, Let's see. <laughs> this is your test. Oh, oh <laughs> nice. So now we have the flour. Awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay, I'll do it. Plop that nice. This is why you get messy sometimes, guys. You gotta just deal with it. And you gotta remember Ashlyn, she put it all over her face. She did? Yeah. So how many cups? You're going two cups? And then mom's gonna put the the ingredient the the ingredients or the whole recipe in the description box. So we'll have that listed for everybody. Two. Cups. Two. Good. Okay, guys. So now we have to put in a cup of sugar. Carefully. Bear level that baby off. We we kind of we don't want to put we need to put in a whole cup. Right there. Good, dude. Now and level now it off. Like like sh like shake it a little bit so it level smoothens that. You see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then double check with mom to make sure that if you want a little bit more. Hey mom, is this good? Okay. Good job, dude. Oh, look at all that sugar, you guys. Perfect for right before bed. Oh, straight up sugar. Hey, Elijah, did you know there was a story once of Brayden when he was about, I think maybe. What was it, Brayden? Ten years old? He went straight up into the cupboard and would eat spoonfuls of sugar. <laughs> powdered sugar. Spoonfuls of powdered sugar. Oh this my sugar gosh. Right here? No, the, yeah, powdered. the powdered. One. This one? Yes. <laughs> he got caught. He got caught. <laughs> powdered sugar leaves a trail, just so you know. <laughs> so now we need one fourth of ground ginger. One fourth what? Is that a teaspoon? Yeah, one fourth, one fourth teaspoon of brown ginger, sorry. Awesome. So now we have it all evened out. You wanna make sure to even it out. Maybe like pat it to the sides. Mom to taught me that, so. You know what, you're learning from the best, dude. Mom is in. the best. And now we have to just put it in. This is the baking soda unit, so you have to make sure you have literally the exact measurements, kind of. And so what, that's a half teaspoon? Yeah, half teaspoon of Thank you, so I'm trying to be very careful and get it. Hey, Mom, did this look good to you? Yep, looks awesome, dude. Okay. Good job, dude. Learn from the best. Oh, yeah. So now we put in the baking soda, and now we put in the ground clovers. Nope. And now we don't put in the ground clovers. And now we need a teaspoon of baking powder. Baking wow. powder, not baking soda. Either. So we've got baking soda, baking powder, we've got ground ginger, We've got, we've got sugar, we've got flour. Dude, hey, what's Mom, up next? Hey good to you? Oh, top it off a little more. Good? Good? 
Now we put in a teaspoon of baking powder. Looks good to me. Kinda want a little more of that sugar. Okay, now we have a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, Mom, help me with it because this one like pours, and I gotta say, I pour a lot. Like when I get something, it just don't sink. <laughs> so, so maybe you might need a little help with the salt, and maybe ask a parent. But yeah. Okay, so what we got here is ground cloves, and we need one eighth of a teaspoon. So if you don't have like an eighth of a te teaspoon on your measurement spoons, like just do half of a one fourth teaspoon because, and I know why they did this. This thing smells powerful. It's just like powerful. Smell that. <laughs> it's so powerful. Yeah, I sniffed it just through here and see the words. So now we just put the thing in. Ooh. Now we put in the ground cinnamon. Okay, so we put in one teaspoon of the ground cinnamon. Just like one full teaspoon. Put it in there, and this is like a powerful smell too, but it smells really good. It's cinnamon though. Yeah. What is that cinnamon challenge? What do you do? You like you, get a you don't do it. Yeah, yeah. You. you don't do it. But like, it, what do the people do? They like take a they spoonful. Take a spoonful of it. Oh no, bueno, dude. Braden did it. Well, he's alive. Is this good? That's very dangerous. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. I, I spilled a little bit, but the kitchen gets messy. Even with master shrinks, like, you gotta have it. <laughs> oh, man. So, this is Shane Pilani Show's voice, like, deal with it. So, this is like one of my favorite parts in all baking the whisk and mix. Oh, Guys, yeah. This is my tongue twister. Like, we were just trying to say, like, whisk and mix. I'm like, <laughs> whisk and mix. Whisk and mix. <laughs> And so, here we go, we have to do it very slowly. You guys have to do it too, because if we don't do it slowly, like it's gonna get all over the place and you don't want that to happen unless you want this in your house. Flour tends to jump, right? Yep. You are pretty clean though, dude, for baking. For a kid. Yeah. Kids are messy. But you're Chef Elijah, well, you're no ordinary kid, dude. I'm no ordinary kid, I'm a chef, young. <laughs> if you guys wanna see Elijah, he did a parody for his class on rounding numbers, and he did the parody to, to Frozen's Let It Go, and it's called Let Me Round. It's on our IGTV, you guys. You gotta go check it out. It's hilarious. How'd you feel about it, dude? It does? Felt, yeah, smell it. It Let literally me smell smells it. like pumpkin. Let me smell it. It smells like fall. Oh. It smells like pumpkin. It smells like, yeah, it smells like a fall candle. Oh, yeah. So now we have to make like a dry food whale kind of. Well. Well, sorry. And now we have to like kind of, this is how you do it. You kind of like put it all to the edges, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you pack it to the edges. So pack that way. Pack it to the edges and then that way all the, all the wet ingredients go in the middle of it, I'm pretty sure. So I just got to pat this down. Good job, dude. Man, I love it. Okay. I might be a chef. You are a chef. What do you mean you might be? <laughs> Your apron says Chef Elijah on it. It's official. It's official. Official! Okay, so now we need to get two eggs, and then we need to put them in this little bowl. We want a different bowl for it, so we just kind of... Can he do it without getting any of the white in? Oh, good job! Do you remember your first time? It was, was not that smooth, boy. Dang, you're good now. What do I gotta, what do I gotta say? Master Chef Elijah has improved. <laughs> oh, no. show, show. Oh, show, show. oh, oh, it's hanging. You got a hanger. No, no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you got it? No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, Elijah. Nothing happened. This is. Your right. master, your master um, title is gonna have to be taken from you. Karma. Karma. Okay, so now we need a teaspoon of vanilla. Has to be very precise. So, what do you like making? Do you like baking more, or do you like make like desserts, or do you like um, like dinner recipes? Um, it doesn't. I don't know. It really depends. It's it, it kind of depends. Like, like it depends on what it is. Like. I was gonna make a Philly cheese steak mm. sub, but then I'm like, it's fall, guys. Like, duh. Duh. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> but I 
I might make a Philly cheese steak sub another day. Yeah, that'll be good. I really want to. Like a Philly cheese, a Philly steak cheese sub. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good right now. So, I already opened the lid. Now we are doing the olive oil. This is half a cup, not a cup, half a cup. Gotta be precise. Chef's on precise. Perfect. Right, Mom? This is good. Totally perfect. You're yeah. a master chef. I'm not a master chef yet, like as you saw. That's what's showing here. That's my. Ooh. That looks so cool. I want to mix this up with my hand. I dare you to take a spoonful of it and just eat it. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what? Okay guys, so you're gonna need a spoonful this size you thought. We're gonna have to put in the whole can. Ooh, you know how you do it? You squeeze you squeeze the can a little bit. No, look, squeeze the can a little bit. Can you do it? Yeah, it's on both sides, so squeeze it one way and squeeze it the other way. Like this. You're gonna go like that. And like that, it loosens it. Okay, okay. I used to do this, you guys, when I would feed my um, my dogs dog food oh. growing up, and it totally loosens it. Now you go like that, and you just shake it right out. I don't know why I keep on smelling it. Okay, so my dad already put a little bit in because he was having trouble, but yeah, it's not working out. Look. Oh my gosh, it looks so. I couldn't use mom's spoon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. Okay, so now we just gotta get the little pieces left. And then just get it out. Chef Elijah needs help. Look at that. Ooh wee. Can't wait to eat that, boy. Now, I dare you to take a big spoonful of that and eat it. And mix it all up and then eat it. Take a bite of that. Yeah. This? Like yeah. The scrapings in the, in the Yeah, can. right there. Take a bite of that. Okay, so that wasn't good. And now we're gonna do my favorite thing again. The whisk and mix. Whisk and mix. Oh my. Oh my. Ew, this looks kind of gross. This looks like all soggy. Maybe it's mashed up the egg yolk. And I forgot to tell you guys about the, with the pumpkin. It's like in a can. So like you might need a parent to help you with like the can opener. But yeah. This looks like the inside and like, you know like those pumpkins where, where you, to make jack-o'-lanterns like where you oh, scoop it and you It looks like the inside of a pumpkin. Yeah, but as you're mixing it, it looks it's looking better. It's looking better, yeah. But I gotta say, that pumpkin stuff tasted like baby food. Like, I didn't know what it tasted like first and then mom was like, it kind of tastes like baby food, right? I'm like, yes. Did you know a crazy story that when, when I was in high school, I would have my mom buy small cans of baby food to put in my lunch because I loved it so much. Aww. And I used to eat healthy. And uh, I would always get the peach and apricot baby food and Ew, eat it in my lunch. That's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells like the, it smells like pumpkin, the pumpkin squash inside. Smell it. Oh, it does. totally. It smells, like the, well, it smells like the inside of a pumpkin, smell it. Oh yeah, it does. Oh my. It smells like pumpkin pie. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells like the inside of a pumpkin and pumpkin pie like mixed together, kind of. So I think we're done mixing this, right? Now we're gonna mix it a little bit more and then we'll go on to the next step. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in all this pumpkin stuff and put it in the middle um, of the like flour and all that of the driest foods. So I'm gonna need a little help holding it if you need help, that's totally fine, totally fine. Just ask your mama or your papa. Yeah, mom. Hey, mommy, mommy, and papa. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, Johnny, Johnny. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. This looks actually really cool now. Looks like a spiral or something. Now what you need is a soggy spread still. You want to mix it gently, so like kind of like fold it over. So like kind of like this. A little bit. So, um, this actually looks like whoa! It looks so cool, like together. Oh my! Oh yeah! Oh, what does this look like? It, it looks like something. Oh, I don't know what it looks like though. Like both like together. It looks like like a type of mochi. 
Ooh, oh, mochi mochi? Yeah. Oh, yes. This looks so cool. It looks like an orange flavored mochi. That's what it looks like. Oh, this looks so cool. It looks like, um, it's like, it looks like this type of slime I've seen. I was going to say, does it feel like you're doing kind of like a science experiment or something? Yeah. <laughs> It feels like I'm making slime. Oh, it's edible like slime. Oh yeah. Edible pumpkin slime. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Jasper <laughs> wanted to make sure you're okay. <laughs> it looks like oh the 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 powder looks like um cornstarch. Nice. All right, so we're gonna get this all mixed up and then move on to the next step. Okay, so now we are putting it into this. Square pan to like put it in the oven for three minutes, right? Um, 30, 30 minutes, minutes yeah. at 350, and this is a nine by nine pan. So. Yeah. So now we just go yuck, yuck, oh my yuck, yuck. yuck. And this is going to be a new animal species sound, like a yuck, yuck. Totally smells like pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, for sure. Braden will probably really like this. Hopefully. I think everybody likes it because then I'm going to be super embarrassed if no one likes it. Oh no. So, a little trick that will help us spread it all around is like to shake it. Kind of. Because while I'm doing this, my, sh my body's shaking. Oh, 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 oh. And then, um, if you need like to like kind of like smoothen it out, you kind of just like spread. Oh yeah. Good job, buddy. Ooh, check out mom's lasagna. You have to be very careful with this because it's kind of hot. This is. So now we put it in there. Always have a parent near you when you do this so you don't get hurt. And boom. So this just came out of the oven and um, right now we're going to make the frosting. So we're going to wait for this to cool down while we're making it. So you're going to need to cut three tablespoons like right here and then just Cut it. So now we got the um, the the, the third the three tablespoons of butter. Just trying to take it off the wrapper. Boom. Okay. So now we just set it right here. So then you're gonna take four ounces of this, which is like half of this. So now we have to put in the half of cream cheese. So I'm kind of like unwrapping it. Is that like four ounces? Four ounces. Yes. Yeah. Right now, um, Dad uh, mixed it all up it, since we don't have a mix there because we had to do it like, like until it was like nice and smooth. So we got it until there, and now our KitchenAid mixer broke. I know, like in one uh, of our videos, me and so Mom sick. were trying to do it in the cake one. Uh huh. The cake one. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. But in the cake one, we were gonna use the mixer, but then it did, it wasn't working, and we were like, oh shoot. So we couldn't do anything. But I don't know how to open this. I tasted powdered sugar for the first time. Really good. So what is that, a cup? Yeah, this is a cup of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, guys. That is normal basic sugar. Powdered sugar! I don't know. I don't know about sugar. I can't really remember my own. Now, we done that. And we need to mix it now. Now we have to put another one, I mean one teaspoon in here. Of vanilla, oh, right? No vanilla, sorry. Look at this, you guys. I Ooh, that's gonna get spread all over, all over the top. Oh. So we're done mixing this up and it looks really good, guys. Look at that. It looks like actual frosting. Are you gonna taste it? Why don't you taste a little right now? It's actually pretty good. Wow, it feels like, um, it feels like, it kind of tastes like velvet frosting. Oh, like, like red velvet? Yeah, like red velvet frosting. Like, you know the frosting that goes on red velvet cake? It kind of tastes like that frosting a little bit. That's it's good. It's like a very familiar frosting. So, now that we got this done, we're gonna go get our cake and spread it around like a boss. Oh! Okay, so now we're gonna put on the frosting. Be careful. 
careful. You're gonna have to be very careful on this part. Very soft. Oh. Oh. Yes. Good job, dude. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It's gonna be some good pumpkin bars. ASMR. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is pumpkin spice ASMR bars. Yeah, this is so hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got the whole thing done. What, dude? That looks good. So, oh my gosh, I'm speechless right now. You ready good job. to try it? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. So every chef, they don't use normal spoons to eat their food. They use big spoons. Oh, that's called the big spahuna. The big spahuna. <laughs> let's do it, boy. Okay. Are you? Do you like like pumpkin pie? I've never really tried it. I'm kind of picky eater. Never really like pumpkin, so. Let's see. You gotta try the frosting to give it taste, bud. I don't know what. The bread? Really good. Really? Good job, I like, bud. I could taste the cinnamon and stuff with it. Super good. Frosting? Oh my gosh. The frosting is even better. Mm, it's not good. I have like 10 times better than I thought it would be. Nice. Let's get Ethan to try it out. Oh, Ethan! All right, so we just woke Ethan up. <laughs> well, I was like half asleep. I wanted to try this. So good. Really? Do you like pumpkin pie? You do? Oh, does it have like a taste of pumpkin pie, or what do you, what do you think? Yeah, a little. Yeah. Does it taste more like like a cinnamon roll or pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. Nice. Like, they're like combined. It's awesome. My little sis is gonna dry in my shampoo stuff. Yeah, go ahead and try the cake. <laughs> yeah. I would say this is good. But the frosting tastes like yogurt. Oh. Frosting does, now I think of it, the frosting does taste a little and bit. You, do you, you don't really like yogurt? But you like the, the cake yeah, part? the cake is, is really good. Awesome. So, the cake is a 10 out of 10, but the frosting is like a 5-ish. Hey, that's all right. Thanks for your honesty, MZ. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, yeah. guys, so thanks for watching, and... I gotta say, the pumpkin bar, whipped cream frosting, I, I mean whipped cream, cream cheese frosting is actually really good. But the frosting was a little iffy. I like the bread though. I think we could have made the frosting a little better if we added a little bit more sugar. Oh, I bet. <laughs> but, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys tried this and if you liked it or if, you, if it was kind of eh or yeah. But um, don't forget to like this video and choose your day.